sure. Okay, hello, Chef Lee here with Flat Spot and Rolinos and Aaron. All right, questions. Are you down? To co are you comfortable answering some questions? We'll find out. Why is your favorite color? Green, and because it's uh, you know, it's what keeps us all happy. Yeah, and not in a monetary sense, in a chlorophyll. Facts. Sense. All chlorophyll, Ooh. baby. Mm -hmm. You want to point to your favorite green thing over here? Favorite green town. Mm. I'm gonna pick this big leafy, big leafy boy here. It just always has been since I was a kid, and it's uh, stayed stayed up top. Different shades, but I think this like dark dark green is that one. Yeah, just like the general dark greenery of the. Yeah. Of the forest is like See. best shade. Yeah. I love that. Mine is blue. I'm not sure if it's sky blue because there's so many shades, but there's that recycling just love blue. blue. Oh, you know what's here? Um, oops. What's here is that um, those blue jays that are here. Have you seen that? The blue yeah. color is like yeah. unreal. Uh, orange. Okay, beautiful. i 
So my postman kind of hates us because we have this really intense cane corso that like terrifies him. So he's usually like super quick. We'll try and avoid us at all costs. And it's like embarrassing, but um, he's just, <laughs> just a dog, I guess. <laughs> he's like, you're just trying to protect them. It's okay. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> I mean, I like my postman though. He's super chill still. He's pretty understanding about the dog situation. There's a lot of dogs in California, so. <laughs> What do you think makes a good postman? Um, I just feel like anyone who's a postman is a good postman. Like you're showing up, you're working, you're delivering the mail. It's important these days, you know? So shout out to the postmen. You're doing um, important work. <laughs> <laughs> I That's my true. postman. <laughs> It's kind of crazy. Like, there's like one day deliveries and stuff. They're like working till like midnight. <laughs> I hope they're, I don't, maybe they're like more nocturnal or something. They're like down to just be awake at night. Cause sometimes I'm like that. I feel pretty good at cruising around at nighttime. <laughs> <laughs>
today Just another bill To pay Just like a gift. Mm. Shall we? Yeah. You said, oh, so we're coming. The howdy one. He, it was like a vine, and he goes like this, and they play a song. They play a party next door song. He's like, mm. and he disappears. What was the party <laughs> next door song? I don't know. Someone help me out. Yeah, it's my favorite gift. Good, right. good loop.
What is this that you're doing with the rocks? Does this have a name? Uh, I'm not familiar with it really. I just kind of started doing it. So I'm sure somebody before me has given it a name. What's the most important part of stacking the rocks? Making sure they don't fall, I guess. <laughs> if you, 20 years from now, were looking back on last year, how would you feel? Uh, that's a good question. I guess uh, a lot of things have come and a lot of things have, have gone for me, so it's actually been kind of good in some ways and absolutely terrible in other ways. <laughs> What do you think is a rock's perception of time? Do you think it would care about last year and 20 years? Uh, it's certainly just a blip on the radar as far as a rock's concerned, I guess. What was the last year like for you? Um, it, was a, it was a great year, actually. Um, the last, like, 2022. It was a really good year because of probably the show, uh, Tara Moi. Last night was very beautiful. Cool. He, they played, like so beautifully so it made my ear uh, much better Favorite song of Mahal? Oh, dude. <laughs> uh, I mean, honestly, Mississippi. Mississippi.
Eh, ¿Cuál es la cantidad de claridad que necesitas para mirar en el telescopio? Pues necesito un poquito más porque es un cheap lens, so okay. no, puedo, no puedo mirar mucho. Nomás estoy mirando ese, el rock formation up there. Ok. Sí. Una de las piedras. Las sí, piedras. las piedras. Sí. Las piedras está ahí. Oh, clarity. Can I tell you a funny story? Yeah, she can tell the story. She can tell the story. Hold the mic over there. When Chaz was saying, he's like, hey. He's playing this, the song Clarity. He's playing Clarity. He's like, hey, this is the song Clarity. This is what it's all about. And he starts. He starts stuttering. <laughs> he starts, <laughs> he starts stuttering and he starts saying, he's like, I'm sorry, like, I don't know what we're doing. He comes out and he's like, you need a little clarity. I, just, I, just, I, got, a, I got a couple chuckles from the crowd. <laughs>
he massages uh, the deck of the guitar and then he uh, uh, maybe massages the strings and uh, and then it magically starts grooving <laughs> Uh, 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 feels great. Um, we have grapes from Tehachapi. Um, we have dates from the central like desert of California. We have salami um, <laughs> from Trader Joe's. Um, we have a Syrah soaked cheddar and we also have a dry aged cheddar. Um, and we have a fruit pate and a mushroom brie. When was the last time you had deja vu? The current job that I have, I like manifested for sure. It's like my dream job. But I was walking, I'm a chef, and I was walking through our kitchen the other day and I experienced every single thing for like a solid minute straight. Like I knew I'd been there before. Wow. Which is kind of crazy because it's my first time there. So, yeah. So, I think deja vu is. So most people live their life like not being present, like not in the present moment. Most people exist either like in the past or in the future or like outside of themselves. 
And so deja vu is like when you actually return to the present moment, like when you're truly, truly present and you're like, oh, I've experienced this before, but it's really like you're just being fully present. Hello. Yeah. <laughs>
Um, a ladybug. Is this your fancy too? <laughs> I'd say praying mantis. Ooh, yeah. that's a good one. Yeah, they're pretty intense. Cool. <laughs> Can we, do you guys want to answer some questions? While you're sweat right now? What's your favorite insect? Oh, that's a good one. Um, damn, dude. Okay. There's a lot. Um, stick bug. Ooh, stick bug. Love that. Love that. Why? Utilitarian. <laughs> Ooh, let's go. My favorite insect. Okay, my favorite insect is an orchid mantis. Uh, and it's my favorite because they're super beautiful. Good catch. Thank you. Uh, but, I mean, why they are, they're like, they're like aliens. They're very weird and very rare. And like, they're descendant upon Earth to tell us something that we can't understand because it's a mantis. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Let's talk to these folks. They look yeah. like they're already in conversation. So. Oh, I was going to say butterflies. Let's say butterflies. Yeah. Caterpillar. <laughs> Ladybugs are pretty dirty. They're so beautiful. First thing that comes to mind is a spider. I love spiders. <laughs> Messengers from the gods. A butterfly. Mm -hmm. The metamorphosis, of course, a butterfly. <laughs> yeah, that's a good answer. Um, if I were to be a bug, um, I'd probably be a, a, a bee. Bees are cool. <laughs> yeah. Last question. A little lighter. I might. Last question. Now, don't look. Steady the camera. Mm -hmm. Last question. Last question. Favorite insect. Favorite insect. Hmm. God. Uh, hmm. Salamander. Is that an insect? You know what? Yeah. For you, it is an insect. Yeah. Salamander. Yeah. Salamander. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Ew. No, it is, it's not, but it's, it's not an insect. But it is. It's, for, it's, a, it's an insect now. Ew. I love that. That's America for you. <laughs> Dude, hell yes. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, appreciate hey, nice you. Meeting you yeah, guys. you as well. Yeah, you. See Thanks yeah, so much. You.
I didn't actively know what Y2K was at the moment, but I was old enough to live through Y2K. How old were you during Y2K? Six. <laughs> Wait, so are you really a millennial? I think so. What year were you born? 1993. Oh, okay, yeah, you're a millennial. Wait, but you don't remember Y2K? No, not really. I was um. too involved with Pokemon and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so who was your starter Pokemon? Usually Blastoise. What? A <laughs> boy. Squirtle boy? Oh, wait. Squirtle. Blastoise is the final evolution, my bad. <laughs> I always considered myself, like, on the alternative side, so as my older brother was Charmander, I was left Squirtle, and no one likes Bulbasaur. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just got a sandwich in my mouth. He's the oldest person here, and if he doesn't remember it, I feel like the odds aren't very good. I personally don't remember Y2K, but I was alive for it. I was born in 1994, oh, but yeah. I don't remember the actual New Year's Eve. That That is the date of Y2K, right? New Year's Eve going into yeah, 2000. If you had to choose a Pokemon type at the, in the beginning of your journey, which Pokemon would be? Fire type, always, baby. Yeah, I love uh, fire type Pokemon. Um, yeah, whenever I was a kid, I, always, I would always pick Charmander. Charmander. Always. Okay. Always. This one. Yes. Oh, yes. 100%. <laughs> yeah.
Thank you. If you were a planet, what would you want your planet to be made out of? Oh, that's hard. That's a good question. <laughs> um, Material. What, cheese? That's a good one, actually. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it's kind of boring, but like water. That's I just like boring. love water. <laughs> Anything with water. water. You said cheese? 50-50. 50, 50. 50, 50 soda water and fresh water? No, fresh water, salt water. Okay. And I can just like travel. Nice. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Um, I don't know, I'm leaning towards like food. Yeah, I can see food for you. Cheese came, the first thing that came to mind was cheese, so maybe a planet made of cheese. Right, right, right. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. Nice, uh, you know, just like the moon. The, mo cheese? the moon's cheddar, right? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Cool. How about just a, a real life <laughs> incarnation <laughs> of that? <laughs> cheddar planet. Cheddar planet. Cheddar planet. Yeah. Is there money on this cheddar planet? Or is it just. I think it's just cheese. The oh, cheddar, like the, the money, the, the cheddar is the, yeah. Like Pepper like, Jack's a $100 bill. Right. Are there like beans that live on your planet? Beans? It's just a bunch of cows on your planet? Cows, yeah. Cows, mice. Mice are the food. Um, oh, cats. Cows do it little. For mice. Do it little. <laughs> <laughs> love it. Yeah, love it. Okay. Let's say you're a planet. Okay. You could be, your planet could be made out of anything. Okay. What is your planet made out of? Oh, water. Just water. If I'm a human. You're a planet. Oh, I'm a planet. You're the planet. It, okay. Water. Straight up water. 50-50 salt water, fresh water, soda pop water, beer water. Agua con gas. Agua con gas. Damn. Okay. My planet's made entirely of one thing. What would it be? That's what it... Any Anything. It doesn't have to be one. Oh, shit. I think water. Just yeah, that's just the easiest, easiest one. Answer. We'll rock with the water. <laughs> All right, the utilitarian the insect on the water planet. I appreciate that. How are you feeling on this uh, on this excursion? Well, Enjoying the sun. Yeah, I feel like uh, it's all coming together. It's just like this is crazy. Sick one. Okay, last question: earthly or non-earthly materials. What is your planet made out of? <laughs> uh, granite. <laughs> so you're just hard. You, you just go hard. All right, cool. Like no pebbles. So you're a pebble planet. I'm going hard as well. So you guys are just hard in the paint. All right, cool. This is our what did, galaxy rock here. Say it again. It's a galaxy rock. Did you name it? No, I didn't name it. I was just looking at it and I was like, there's a galaxy in this rock. If you could name your pet rock, what would you name it? Humphrey. No. Honestly, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm, I'm gonna be a, a planet of silly putty. Okay. Love that. Yeah. A silly putty planet. Yeah. I don't know. We had planet. silly putty. I'm, not a girl. <laughs> I'm like a silly putty oh. girl. <laughs> My planet would probably be composed of just straight ice cream. Ooh. I'd like a marbled it. black, marbled blackberry cream. Yeah, marble, blackberry, vanilla cream, ice cream. That's the only flavor you'll ever need. Talk your shit. I love that. What is your planet made out of? Oh, I love that movie where the one of the planets, they're all, they like, it's the pearl planet. Oh. You know that one? That sounds good. All the beaches are all like pearls. It like, what's that movie? Does anyone know? No. That like sci-fi flick? Oh, it's like, like an old movie? White, and they're all like pearlescent. Anyway, but that would be amazing. beautiful. That, diamonds. That diamonds. Beautiful. Why not? Why not? No, no rules. It's yours. Why not? So a diamond planet. Crystalline. There is planets like that, isn't there? Probably. Or is that just Superman? No, it might be. Yeah. Dude, might you be. might know. What? Yeah, water. 100% water. I don't know if you've seen uh, Interstellar, but wanna, remember that I scene when uh, it was like Matthew McConaughey? He was just like in that little spaceship. And there was like a huge thing of water, like it was like coming up, like yeah. a tsunami. Incredible scene. I, it got me really scared. I was just like, imagine a whole planet like that in real life. Like, 
that'd be pretty cool. to meet most of y'all and um, see you around the site. Peace. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you.